All right, hello everyone. So we are on day 29 for literacy. So we are going to continue working on our opinion paragraph, or I guess technically start our opinion paragraph. However, on Friday we started working on this document and found research. So it says watch the um, day 29 literacy video, which you're doing right now, awesome. And you're going to use your opinions, facts, and text evidence from your research on Friday to begin a draft of your opinion paragraph. You will write this in the document you started Friday titled Opinion Paragraph on Water. So you can find this document below your day 29 checklist. So I will continue to move your opinion paragraph on water so it will always be located right below the current checklist that we're working on. So your directions are find day 29 on this document in red and write your opening statement. Stop when you reach the red stop sign. You will continue working on this tomorrow. So we'll pop over. Your research should be all filled out with information and you should have a water issue right here. You have three choices, access to water, water pollution, or a demand for water. So I did my research here on water pollution, um, but the paragraph that I wrote and I'll be modeling is actually on access to water. So I'll change it to access to water. Then we're going to go over this, the overview of the opinion paragraph, which I went over a little bit on um, last time, but I want to go into more depth, in depth. And this is what you are working on today. Day 29, Monday, May 11th, begin your opening paragraph. And you're stopping right here. So we're really, really breaking this down. So if you do the part that you, are to, um, that you have to complete each day, you really are not going to have a lot of work each day and it's going to be um, scaffolded and broke down for you to make it in really easy steps. And I will be checking it either later that day or the next day, giving you feedback and commenting back to you on your work. So, overview of the opinion paragraph. Look back at the information you collected in your research chart from day 28. Use your opinions, facts, and text evidence from your research to draft an opinion paragraph. Your paragraph should include an opening statement, which we're writing today, a focus statement that answers the question, why is conserving water important, and how can we solve this issue, this water issue, the water issue being the one that you choose, which is either access to water, water pollution, or demand for water. You're just going to talk about um, one water issue. The middle part of your paragraph should include two solutions to the water issue you chose and evidence from the text. Your concluding sentence should remind the reader of your opinion and tell them what they can do to support your cause. So here is the template and what it will look like once it's all together. You can see the red is what we're working on today. So we're just writing these first two sentences, but by the end, of the week we will have all of these sentences written and next Monday you'll be putting them all together in a paragraph that might look a lot like the one that I've listed right here which looks like this. So let's look a little bit more specifically at what you have to do today. So you're writing your opening statement which is introducing people to what you're going to be talking about. So today you'll write an opening statement to introduce the topic and give context about the issue. So explains background information about the issues related to water. So first sentence, around the world today, we are facing issues related to water. A major issue people are facing is, and you need to pick one. So I told you I'm writing mine on access to water. So I'm going to delete this and write access to water. So now I need to think back and think about why is this an issue? Why are people facing this issue? <clears throat> so people are facing this issue because not everywhere around the world gets the same amount of rain or has the same supply of water. 
So we're having issues of access to water because our water isn't spread evenly around the world. There are some areas that have a ton of water and some areas that are very dry and do not have a lot of water. So that is how I'm choosing to open mine. So now it is your turn. So that first sentence, all you need to do is write the issue that you picked from your research. So it should be right up here to help you. And remember, each day builds on each other. So if you did a good job on your work Friday, your work today should be pretty easy. You're just doing that, and then you are filling out why this issue is. All right? And that's it. So we're going to stop there. So tomorrow we will work on the next part. So make sure when you go into your document, and it's going to be less true for your research, but in future days I will give you feedback. So when you open your document, you might see something like, like this. So if you go over the side, you can see, great job, maybe consider adding and your text will be highlighted. So I'll give you feedback of things that are great or things that you could change to improve on your paragraph. And when you finish and make your correction, you can hit resolve and I'll get a notification that you fixed it. So that is your work for today. So go ahead and get started and write your opening statement to your opinion paragraph.